But what we want to take as an understanding of a permaculture worldview here is that Taoism and Buddhism inform permaculture from the perspective of recognizing that everything has innate value, everything is inherently beautiful and inherently sacred. Enlightenment is. The conditioned mind is what it is that distracts us and makes us unable to notice the true miraculousness and beauty of where we are and what we are. And then we tend to obscure that with the clouds of the analytical mind. And that that unobscuring of the obscured moon, to use the metaphor that's often talked about in Buddhism and Taoism, <clears throat> that's part of what we're connecting with by just being. So a key part of good design is both to know a lot of this analytical science behind the natural systems, but also to recognize that there's a irreplaceable learning that happens by just being in a place. Uh, essential to, from a practical viewpoint, permaculture is about whole site development. So it's both a metaphysical worldview that's not a thing, but it's also got a set of very specific techniques and strategies and design applications that are geared towards whole site development. And that whole site development, which doesn't sound nearly as attractive as re reaching some sort of consciousness enlightenment, is part and parcel of the same thing. In other words, as our consciousness becomes more able to notice what's happening in a place, we become better designers. So walking the place, being in the place, walking things like the drainages, the topographic areas, really being in that place as well as knowing a lot about the local history and the local lore. And then just sitting and just being there is a key part of good design. So well, on the one hand, we're going to do a lot of analytical data overlays and aerial photos and topo maps and all the analytical data that we can compress, we're going to get. At the same time, we're not going to ever mistake what is essential for good design to be able to be replaced by things like maps and charts and data and aerial photographs. And you can't do design at a distance. You have to go on site to do good design. And good design is whole integrated site development that's geared towards some sort of goals articulation. Which is a kind of thing that we kind of lack generally in site development is, is full, full goals articulation. A lot of people aren't going to spend the time as a group to come up with a cooperative, articulated agreement about what are the goals on this property for this community one year from now, three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, 50 years from now, and 200 years from now. And in terms of a permaculture site design, what we're going to bring to clients is going to be that kind of long view and near-term view and the understanding that you can only really start to evolve what you want to once you've articulated it. You can't manifest in reality what your desires are if you haven't articulated them. But a great deal of the work is helping with getting to that articulation place.